Hey everybody, check this out. Know what that is? That is an old open box of Polaroid Type 55 film. Type 55 film has a positive and a negative. And I just can't believe I forgot all about this. I'm trying to think now. I think I bought it in 2008. I used a few sheets. It looks almost full. So I'm wondering if it's still usable. There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna try it. This is a, the Polaroid holder that I use. I've had this for well, back in the day when I shot a lot of Polaroid. It's a 545i holder. It's great uh, because I can I can expose a sheet in here and I can pull it out without developing it and, and uh, process it later. Okay, this is the old Type 55 film. The film inside is probably okay. But what I'm concerned about though is the chemical pod. If it's still in a gel form or has it hardened. It has a side that says this side toward land, so obviously it's this side. And stick it in. Be really careful not to pop the pod which is here. Hence the thumb marks and just push it all the way in until it clicks and then insert it into the back of the camera. It's all the way in and uh, it is a little bit dim out. Um, and I remember I had always uh, shot this at uh, exposure index of 20 for the negative. And it's a little bit higher for the positive, but I never ever used this for the positive, so I couldn't really tell you. And I know it has reciprocity, really bad reciprocity, so I'm gonna try and stay out of that as best as I can because I have no idea where my compensation chart is. So I've got that set. Oh, it went off. Got it set. Can you guys see that? And I'm going to go ahead and take a reading of the shadow area. Yeah, I'm going to be in reciprocity area, but uh, that's okay. We're going to have to live with it. It's going to be about four second exposure with the lens wide open. So, let's set the lens. So I'll put it on time and got the lens wide open. Like I said, I'm just testing this film, so not really after anything artistic. Just want to see if this stuff still works. It'd be great if it does. And I'll use it for something good. Okay, so I've got the exposure settings on the camera, and I'm going to go ahead and take it. And I'm going to take it inside the dark and process it. So, I've got to pull the backing paper out. So it stops. Now the film is inside the camera, okay, and everything else is here. Now the film and the pod. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and expose it. I still work with a large camera. I've got to do a lot of walking around. I think from the back to the front.
Okay, that was about four seconds. Just guessed it. And push this back in so it engages. And take it out. It's all back in, and I'll take this in the dark room and I'll process it. Okay, I'm back in the dark room, and I've got film all ready to, to be processed. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pulling it through the holder. Actually what's going to happen is when I pull it out, <clears throat> it's going to pass, as it passes through the rollers, the rollers will squeeze the pod that contains all the chemistry to develop and fix the negative, it's kind of like a monobath. So I'm really hoping that the chemistry within the pods is still okay. Okay, so I just slide the lever to process and pull this out just a little bit and I'll pull it through in one smooth pull. Start the timer. And I have the chemistry all ready. Over here in a tray, it's an 18% solution of sodium sulfide. And we'll go ahead and open this. There's the image. Well, it looks, I guess the chemistry still works. And I'll separate. Carefully. Um, and slip it in. And it's not supposed to take too long to clear. You can see that all that group is coming off. Can actually see an image appearing. So let's see if we can see. Well, you can see there is an image there, and it looks darn good. Got good exposure in the shadows. So I'm going to continue processing this, and I'm going to wash it and hang it to dry. Wow. 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 Wow.